darks that they took, master anything, but in this case, I'm gonna show master darks, that they took um, uh, previous to the new version of WBPP, it might have not even been created, those masters were not even created with WBPP, which means that they took the form of uh, you know some random file name and they might not have information in the FITS header that says it is a master type file. So WBPP won't recognize it. If it doesn't have it in the FITS header and it doesn't somehow say something in the file name that it's a master, then it won't recognize it. But this is the cool thing, it's easy to fix because you can put the word masters in the file name or it can be as part of the name of a directory or it could even be in the path name. So Roberto wrote the logic in there to scan all of that stuff. So as long as you put somewhere in there masters, it'll load properly. So let me just show you an example. Here I have some darks. I say I do, I promise I do. These are dark frames. Now, you can't tell by the name and uh, you wouldn't be able to tell by the way by the FITS header. I actually had to destroy that in the FITS header. So these are masters, but I made them so you couldn't in any way tell what kind of masters they are. We have Animal, Beaker, Cookie Monster, Kermit, and Miss Piggy. So if I load these right now as dark frames, so we're just gonna get, well, no, that's not true. I, I understand. They're not all dark frames, they're masters, I forgot. Uh, so we have one master that's a bias. We have one master that's a dark. We have uh, masters that are uh, flats, but they're not loading as masters. That's what I was supposed to tell you. So let me again show you. These are master files, but they're not all darks. So I have a master bias somewhere in here. I have a master, three master flats and a master dark. Okay. And the point is that if I load them as they are now, because I'm not telling WBPP that they are masters, they show up in the proper place because the file type is correct. Uh, but the fact that they're masters isn't anywhere communicated. So how do we fix that? Well, the easiest way to fix that is in the following way. I'm gonna remove these. Uh, let's just do it this way. All you would need to do is just change, in this case, I could have written in every file uh, the word masters, but I can also just change the, um, the folder name. And now if I do this, check it out. They load as masters, that's it. How hard is that to do, right? So um, if you're having a problem with getting your master files in to WBPP because you haven't in other, some way communicated that they are masters, this is, that's the way to do it. Uh, you can put it either in the file name or you can put it in the directory name. I think the directory thing is a really cool because you can just dump them all into one directory uh, and then you'll know that it'll load properly in WBPP. That is the episode that I wanted to show you today. I will um, wrap things up here. We'll, we'll take a couple more questions here at the end because this is just such a great episode. And I'll also give one word, a final word to Roberto as well. He can, he can tell me what terrible things that I said that were not true. <laughs> uh, so hang on one second. Let me first bring up my, uh, my page here. If I go back, okay, so this is again, my YouTube channel, and there is a playlist that is for the definitive guide to WBPP. It is free to all. Um, I'd highly recommend that. I also recommend if you like this and you're getting and you're new, just getting into PixInsight, consider going to my website where you will find uh, there's also this new thing that I called fast track training that will get you up to speed on everything, including this new version of WBPP. So yeah.